Hey, I'm going to do a quick video on these two Galaxy S5s that I purchased, used on Swappa. For anyone who's still interested in these old phones, they're good for open source and you can replace the battery. Um, but they came with different screens and my webcam, I apologize, my webcam is really bad, but I think I can still get across most of what I want to show you. Um, now here I just have a black screen loaded, and I'll let you guess which one is the LCD and which one is the OLED. Answer is this one's the LCD. You can see from the the purple grayish hue that changes with the angle. There's always the backlight on, right? So the the light, the black level is never going to be perfect. Whereas the OLED here. I have, and you didn't, I didn't even know if it was turned on, because the black is so perfect it may as well not be turned on. See, so that the screen is on, but it's perfectly black. Um, then some other things. Yeah, so this this is a knockoff LCD. You can find these on on eBay. Um, they're really cheap replacement screens. Another thing I wanted to show was the brightness increments. So if you look at the LCD, here I'm changing the brightness, but nothing's happening. It's not until you get halfway up that you see the first bump in brightness, and then there's maybe a handful more bumps. So the granularity of the, the brightness increments is, is high, whereas on the OLED, the original Samsung OLED, it's pretty continuous. There's a lot more increments. The only bump is maybe right here at the, the low end, that one right there. Other things, uh, this might not come across in the video, but the, the pixel response for the OLED is a lot smoother. The scrolling visually looks a lot nicer, whereas this is much more jumpy. I don't know if that comes across in the video. And then another thing that's pretty apparent in the video, actually more apparent in the video than in real life, is EWM backlight on this, you could see the flicker of the backlight, whereas the, the OLED flicker, I don't notice any with my eyes. With the screen, you can see a little bit, or the webcam, you can see a little bit, but I think the webcam is is causing that. Um, but this flicker, yeah, you can definitely notice it. And I noticed the flicker changes actually depending on the battery level and the brightness level. So sometimes I'll pull the phone out of my pocket and depending on the battery, the flicker will be so bad I'll have to change the brightness. And with the so few brightness levels, it's, um, it's a problem to find the right setting that will last throughout the whole day. Uh, <clears throat> what else? Oh, right, the digitizer. So, clicking and moving icons on this is, is very simple on the, on the original OLED. The digitizer picks up everything. But this one, you on the LCD, you really have to... Yeah, I tried to click and drag that, but it didn't even work. You really have to push hard to, to register a click, especially a held down click. And even then, it's, it's pretty unreliable. See, I can't even move this icon. And you can fix that a little bit by making sure the screen is always very clean. You know, clean it with some alcohol swab or something. Yeah, because I noticed that this LCD, it gunks up very easily. And then once it gunks up, the, the digitizer is even worse than normal. Whereas the OLED, I've never had that problem. 
Yeah, I can move the icons, no problem. Um, yeah, you can get a replacement OLED on Alibaba for about $50, or if you want to buy from US, there's various retailers or eBay for more like $100. Probably not worth it to get the $100 OLED screen for such an old phone, unless you're really dedicated to the S5. Whereas these cheap knockoff LCDs, I've seen them for 20 bucks. I guess if you had no other choice, the LCD works. I've been using this for a month. Um, and you don't have to worry about burn-in. Maybe there are better quality LCDs as a replacement for the S5, but I, I really wouldn't recommend this one. Um, so I'm going to replace this with an OLED uh, over the next week.